So guys, I was not expecting that I was gonna be starting this vlog right now, but I just got the call that Mercedes-Benz of Temecula has accepted my offer on a brand new AMG GTC 50 something miles on the clock. And uh, I am so, so excited. This is the night before I've um, just signed all the documents. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so right now what I'm doing is I'm preparing my driveway with this wood uh, to park my car in here. This is my garage. This is the wood piece of what I was using before. The new one is wider, so the tires are gonna pick up sooner, lift the car off the ground before it has a chance to hit the very steep curb on the ground. Right now what I'm doing is I'm completely uh, taking off little tiny things that I had on my car, such as my paddle shifter extensions, license plate frames, stuff like that, putting the headrest back in, making sure I have my extra key and front license plate mount, putting the ashtrays back in, putting the cup holders back in here, putting all that stuff back in here so that way it's ready to take in on trade. I can't wait to explain to you guys exactly how this deal went down. It will sincerely help you guys out um, if you're looking to purchase a car like this or any car in the future. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to hear that little explanation because it's quite an interesting story. But uh, yeah, here, honestly, this, I don't even know if it's going to be able to make it up the curb, the GTC with that. I'm really hoping that it is. I've trimmed the bushes so that way I can swing extra wide coming in or out. As you can see, I just lobbed that off there, lobbed that off there, giving me the most possible space to work with. You can't really tell on camera at all, but this is a very steep curb. And uh, when the car, when my car goes up this curb, it scrapes the front lip every single time and uh, this car is not even really that low the, the gtc is has about half the ground clearance as this car so really hoping that uh, this extra wide plank and the little shim that i added on top of that plank is going to take care of the issue so it is the morning of me going to pick up the car take delivery of it i'm uh, nervous i'm excited i kind of don't really know what to feel because there's a lot of factors that still have to play out until I'm driving off the lot in the car. Um, I'll explain that to you guys later when I actually feel like talking about it. But uh, for now, let's just enjoy the process and head that, head that way. Whew, this is my last drive in my C43. 20 minutes ago, I was like dry heaving over the toilet, like feeling just like I'm gonna throw up. I'm like, have so many like mixed emotions. Like I, I, I don't even know. I can't even put, it, put a sentence together. Like I'm so like overwhelmed right now and so grateful that I have the ability to be able to do something like this for myself because cars have always meant uh, so much to me. So let's go. Mercedes-Benz of Temecula, we have arrived. Dominic, sir, great news. What's that? Your GT is ready for you. Oh, hell yeah. I am so excited. Where is it? Right back this way, sir. Follow me. Man, that is just incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And guys, like I said, James here at Mercedes-Benz of Temecula is the one who helped me out and um, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I can't thank him enough for what he did for me on this vehicle as well as everyone else at this dealership. So definitely be sure to hit him up. I'll put his number right here on the screen if you're interested in a Mercedes-Benz, not just at this dealership, but any dealership, please don't hesitate to reach out to him and he will be more than happy to take care of you. He, he went above and beyond what any um, you know, salesperson should be doing for their clients, but he is a really, really nice guy. So guys, I am bidding my beautiful C43 a farewell. All of the carbon on here that you see is from RW Carbon. Huge shout out to them. Big shout out to SSR Performance for installing all of it. It's held up absolutely beautifully over the course of the last three years. And uh, 
yeah, this has been a great, great car to me. And I uh, am so grateful to have owned it and had such a beautiful ex ownership experience with it. Um, but now it's time I join the AMG GT family. Doing the honors of taking the window stickers off and peeling all the factory stickers off of them. At Mercedes Benz at Temecula, I'll, I'll show them to you guys here in a second after we take a look at the car. Really, not only James, but you know, everybody here at this dealership really went to war for me in this car and got me in it at the price that I wanted to pay for it. I have no doubts that they could do the same thing for you. But uh, here it is. The carbon diffuser and the fact that these exhaust tips are chrome was so important to me because everyone wants to, everyone wants to black out this, black out that. This is, not only is this a Mercedes, I think it deserves to have a little bit of chrome, but it just, to me, it just looks better to have little touches of chrome with here, there. I don't want everything blacked out. Um, so I'm just so stoked for this. All right, guys, so this car is very highly optioned. It has every single option that you can get for it, except for the carbon ceramics, which I'm not even quite sure that I would even want those because of the fact that they're very expensive to replace. But uh, every single carbon fiber option, interior and exterior, including the door sill trims, we have the 19 and 20 inch AMG Crossfoke forged black rims, um, the night package in the interior, the dry carbon on the uh, center console, it has the, the highest trim level that you can get of the Burmester sound system, which is very important to me because I love music. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys more when I get home. Okay guys, so James is about to hand me over the keys and um, we're gonna get this first cold startup. I am so excited. I am gonna hand him my phone so he can get some uh, Instagram story content. I think you wanna come like right around to the back so it just, the exhaust just kind of black. I'm not, I'm not gonna rip on there. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> How's that feeling, Dominic? So as usual, I'm dragging these videos out way too long. Um, it's been about two weeks since I bought in the car now. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, basically I just went back up north to uh, my hometown of Folsom, California. So my dad's in the car business, basically. His neighbor is a complete paint protection film and window tinting expert. So I'm gonna go take this over there today to get the Expel paint protection film and a full ceramic window tint on every single window, including the windshield. Um, and he's given me a great, 
great price on it. I'll give you guys all of his info uh, so you guys can use him if you're in the area. He is the exact person I would recommend to do this because it is not an easy job to do uh, paint protection film. But uh, I'm stoked for it. The car's looking good. It's been treating me like an absolute king for the last <laughs> two weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a little wash because I just I just did a 500 mile uh, road trip from LA to Folsom. And uh, it's more like 400, but let's get it. On another quick little side note, I did order two k and air filters for this car. They are the high flow air, air filters. And uh, I put these on my C43. It is also a bi-turbo engine. It's just the V6 versus the V8 that this one has. And quite honestly, I noticed a huge, huge difference in throttle response and even exhaust note when I put them on. So I'm gonna do exactly that for this car as well. I took off the little plastic engine cover and um, I'm gonna do that probably within this video as well. Okay, so we made it to the car wash and again, I'm just doing this to get off most of the stuff off the car. Um, obviously he's gonna wash it, wax it, clay bar, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody to help me film this process, but uh, that's about it. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm at KRZ Films here in Rockland and uh, I'm super excited for the work that they're doing here. They do some absolutely exceptional work. Uh, with that being said, what we what you saw that we just decided is we're gonna do uh, full ceramic expel window tint all the way around the car. We're gonna go 20s on the sides, on the rear, and a 45% tint on the windshield. Expel ceramic tint. That is the best window tint that you can get. Now, uh, what we're gonna do with the paint protection film is we're gonna go with the, the bumper, the, the whole fender, the whole hood, the mirror caps, the A pillars, um, the door cups, so your nails don't scratch it or rings, and the door edges, because my garage is kind of tight. I have to put my door on the drywall in order to get out of the car, which is fine. So now, the next thing that we're talking about, which I'm really excited for this, is we just decided that I'm actually going to put a very light tint on the headlights. This is not something I've done before and I'm always very against tinted taillights and headlights, but usually that's because it's done with uh, VHT nightshades out of a can. I did that to my first uh, Jeep Cherokee and uh, I wasn't a big fan of it, but this is the right way to tint headlights or taillights. So we have a more brownish, darker headlight tint. I do not like this, especially contrasted against the yellow. This is more of a bluish uh, gray tint, and this is lighter. This is the one I'm gonna go with. It's just a nice smoked headlight, so it's gonna give it a little bit more of an aggressive, uh, sinister look in the front, and I think it's gonna turn out great. Boom, here it is, guys. It turned out absolutely incredible. Again, this was with KRZ Films, Kevin here in Rockland, California. That is Northern California to be exact. KRZ Films, this just turned out absolutely crazy. Paint protection film is absolutely seamless. Definitely no seams at all. He took the Expel right up to the trim line in terms of where the paint starts and the plastic starts. Just really, really great. Again, we did this, the Expel full ceramic window tint all the way around 20, all the way around and 45 on the windshield. The Expel uh, tinted uh, paint protection film. Kevin just finishing up a last couple last minute uh, details here, but yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away. So thankful and so grateful for the work that they did here. So again, all of his information will be in the description down below, so be sure to check him out. As you can see guys, the edge of the window tint film was taken all the way to the edge of the window. That's a huge hallmark of what a good window tint job is all about. Um, you can see that it was seamlessly done all the way down, perfectly symmetrical. If you look at your windows, your friend's windows, you might notice that there's a quarter inch or half an inch or a jagged uh, line on the edge of your window, especially nearing the top. Um, and that is one way you can tell between a good window tinting job and a bad one. So definitely keep an eye out for that in the future when you're going to get your windows tinted somewhere or simply go to KRZ Films. Okay guys, so that's it. That's gonna be a wrap for this video. The next video is gonna be uh, the tune from SSR Performance, the downpipes. I'm gonna install the K&N air filters. I intended to do that within this video, but I'm already dragging it on for way too long. So enjoy this lukewarm startup because it's gonna be one of the last ones that you hear with 
with this thing sounding the way that it does, it's gonna sound a lot more menacing the next time you hear it.